Welcome back to MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 3.4, we see how to organize tasks into phases. So first we see how to add phases to already created tasks, how to add tasks to phases and what is the outline view. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 3.3 available on group.net. To begin with, we had created a file which has all the task names and all the duration. Let us say we want to create phases or summary tasks for these. Phases is basically dividing these tasks into groups so that it is easier to monitor. So we can insert a task and add in the name we want. This is more like a title. So let us say we want task number 2 and task number 3 to be subtasks of the task number 1. So we can select the two and go to the task tab and click the intent task from the schedule subtask. So now these two tasks have been intended within inside the main task which is also called a summary task. Similarly let us create another phase. We can call this as apply for permits we can select all the tasks we want under apply for permits heading and we can indent it if we want apply for permits to be under general conditions it can be like this if we want it out that is at the same level here we can click this and we can outdent it Now you will see that each summary task has a minus sign at the end of it. If you click the minus sign all the tasks under it go inside. And you click the plus sign and they all become visible. You can also use it to enter a major heading for the project like you can insert task and give a heading to the project. You can select all the tasks below it and indent them all inside. So this becomes a major heading. Now we have seen how to add phases to already created tasks. The same way we can also add tasks to phases which are created. That is let us say that we already want clearances as the heading and these two or three things to be under it. So if the phase is already created, we can add tasks by indenting it or we can outdent the summary task. We have created a file with the complete phasing for this project and it is available on group.net as lesson 3.4. I will open that file now to show you the outline view. So here you can see we have done the complete phasing for the project. When 
when you look at the durations you will see that the maximum duration from the summary subtasks have been taken for the summary task this is because we have not yet scheduled the project once we schedule the project you will realize that the duration for each of the summary tasks is the total duration for the subtasks to check the outline view we can go to the view tab click outline it shows a subtask starting from outline level 1 to outline level 9 if we click outline level 1 we see that only the major heading is shown if we click outline level 2 next set of subheadings are shown and so on clicking outline level 9 all the tasks will become visible you can individually turn on or off a particular outline by just clicking on the minus sign and opening it by clicking on the plus sign so to summarize we have seen how to add phases to already created tasks how to add tasks to phases and what is the outline view a sample of the project plan with complete phasing is available on group.net thank you for joining us on this video tutorial in the next part of the video tutorial series we see how to link tasks.